So this curved shelf unit, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen the drawings for it some time ago. Now, interestingly, I, well, I, I, honestly, I did think I came up with this idea, not thinking it was original. I think I'd seen it somewhere, but I thought oh, this could really fit the uh, the space. Drew it up and then very shortly after saw that Thorson Joinery on, on Instagram had done exactly the same thing. So I, I did, I messaged him and I was referencing some of the, the videos and pictures that he put online about how he did it. Valchromat and as we worked through the issues of this surprisingly complicated thing which you know this kind of thing often you think oh it's just an interlocking set of shapes but then you realize you've got issues with tolerances and material and stuff like that I realized he probably used Valchromat because it is very hard and dense so these very fine sharp points are probably best suited to that material we because it was going to be white sprayed we decided to go with Medi MR MDF which is what we use for a lot of this sort of work. And I think it's turning out fine. We got it CNC made, of course. So I, I did the initial sketch, Graham worked out the details, which is how it usually goes. And um, we got Chop Shop to cut it. So I left Brady and Graham sort of figuring out the assembly and the shaping, the final shaping of parts, the sanding and the, the test fitting and that sort of stuff and the, the spray priming. And they also created this jig. So this is a bit of scrap scrap 6mm MDF, uh, which they set the whole thing up on, found the center lines, and then made these these drilling marks to receive, um, well, to, to be drilled into the wall. So I'll, I'll offer this up to the wall when I finally fit it at the customer's house, and I'll, I'll drill all those points. They will then line up with fixings on the back of each vertical piece. So yeah, here we go. So this, um, this is one of the side verticals, upside down. I better not drop this. Yeah, so that is a keyhole fixing plate, hanging plate from Hayfley. That has been screwed in with Confirmat screws. So they're quite beefy dowel-like screws that were pre-drilled so they don't split the MDF because of course they have to bear a certain amount of weight. Um, that labeled right yeah so this has been all set up as if it's the wall with the fixings on now when you did this brady did you just make make life easier for yourself by putting the fixings on strips so that you could then position them more accurately that did you i didn't want to go through the wall all oh, right okay it's only 18 oh yeah all right uh, okay, so do you want to just show us this going together maybe just get a fixed position and speed it up uh, yeah go on this show, show us that again show us that again yeah so simple as that isn't it it's just a uh, Standard yeah. posi screw. And it'll push down. Mm -hmm. decisions that had to be made with this thing it, as I said it kind of looks simple on the, the SketchUp model I just drew a bunch of circle segments and rotated them and interlocked them and then I, I realized various issues like um, when you go from them just being 2D intersecting things to then giving them the thickness and this is 25 millimeters you get uh, a bigger gap here to, to here so we kind of set the shape and overlap of things according to 
this this was the place where the or possibly this actually was the place where the um overlap was sort of was the smallest and uh i originally had in mind to have a bigger a bigger round over on them which i think is what um uh, mr thorson did so i don't know i don't know his first name um i left this for the guys to do and they kind of just made the decision to put a smaller round over on which it's one of those things i i came back and thought oh, i wanted it bigger but i maybe hadn't communicated it that well and it actually looks fine so i don't really mind um and i think it's quite good when you've got a team where you just start to know the limits of what's essential what should be consulted on and what you can just make a judgment call about uh, which is a continual learning process as i talked about in the last video uh, so anyway they went with this small round over um the fairly close setback there just the way the geometry works out because because all of it is is like a section of a sphere so I think we did it so like the, the outermost points would touch the face of a sphere. It just works out that you then have a bigger setback here. Um, the tolerance was just like the CNC doors that we do, 0 0.3 millimeters. So what I mean is the, the cut in, in this piece that sort of slots in uh, was cut at 25.3 millimeters to fit around the 25 millimeter upright and that seems to be about right because there is a bit of grab a bit of friction and this is only the, pl the primer coat so it's going to be I think very tight although in places it looks like a bit of a gap it's going to be pr pretty pretty tight on the final coat um, what we're probably getting as well is a is a, a little bit of misalignment you know within sort of a, a mill or so misalignment between where the vertical pieces have ended up but again that's quite good because that adds to the friction and the grab because there's nothing really mechanically holding that in place but the friction the friction is enough and you can just just about force it out one little mistake on the cnc i think the drawing sent for cnc was just that this overlapping cut was a bit deeper than it should be doesn't really matter though um pretty much disappears. Uh, I think final detail to mention, again, just looking at the way Thorson Joinery did stuff, we'd been debating how to finish these very fragile edges off because that had come to a very fine point and we went for just taking it off a little bit. I think he he just took he took it off a bit more, sort of maybe there. And this is, this is what we went for, it's, it's okay. We just have to take care on the transport and the installation. I think when it's up on the wall, of course, it will it will be tight to the wall. It won't be spaced off with these. Uh, I think it will. I think it will work just fine. Thanks for watching.